Hey everyone, this is One Man Zerg, and I have a very special build order for you guys today. This one is specific for a ZVP matchup. I think it might work in a ZVZ matchup as well, um, but that's dependent on what your opponent is doing. But this is very specific to a ZVP. You can tell uh, this is actually Liquid Travis. So I got this off uh, TeamLiquid.net. I don't want to not give anyone credit there, but this guy WZP, I think he claims to have made it up. But it's still a very interesting build order. So this is a three roach rush. It is specifically designed to beat Protoss. Um, a lot of Zerg don't like the Protoss versus Zerg matchup. So we can see he's doing um, the 10 uh, overlord on 10. Just really standard up to this point. You know, Zerg doesn't really vary much after that. He's not even doing the uh, little overlord trick with the extractor. Um, so this is designed to kill Protoss off very early. Um, and there he goes, three drones. So this is the pivotal moment. He's getting three drones, he gets up to 13. And after this, he's gonna save up for a spawning pool. So this is designed to kill Protoss early, very early, uh, before they even get their fourth unit out, actually. So it's, it's a very, very critically timed rush. So there's the spawning pool on 13 and the extractor on 12. And then from here, He's going to build four more drones, so he's going to get up to 15 drones, and we'll, we'll see what happens from there. So, what's Protoss going to do? He's going to get his uh, gateway here, then he's going to put a cybernetic score here, then he's going to have this one little space for a zealot, or something like that, so he has just a, a very early block off. So, this Zerg has sent his overlord over here at the start. That's very critical to, um, to understand. His overlord has gone there at the start. That's going to later give him ramp vision. So once again, you guys, I want you to look. He is at 15 drones. He has stopped there. This is a critical number to stop at. This lets you get 300 minerals right as the spawning pool finishes. So what does he do? He builds a queen immediately, and he builds a roach warren immediately. So he builds a zergling, and um, he's going to just build zerglings, and then he's going to build, I think it's an overlord. He's going to get ling speed. So let's watch. This is timing. So he gets ling speed right now. Um, here it goes. There he goes. Right on 100-100. And then he's going to save up this next 100 for an Overlord. And so there he goes to Overlord. And then I think he's going to get uh, Roaches and Lings from there on out. So his Roach Horn is almost done. And you can see your Protoss opponent is just finishing a Cybernetic score right now. So this is a very standard build from your Protoss opponent. This is nothing weird going on. This is about as standard as it gets. He gets a Cybernetic score. He gets a, a Zealot with his first um, with his first build. He's uh, chronoing out a warp gates right now if you chronoed out units he might be able to survive this i don't know exactly um but he is doing that and so we get go back to our, ro our zerg player he gets three roaches and then he gets a overlord so let's check out this unit so, uh supply station that so saves up all those minerals for those three roaches and he sets his rally point over here you can see this is his rally point so that's where his units were are going as soon as they get out and this timing is very critical and then from there, let's go back to the production tab. He's just massing lings. So very easy. It's called a three roach rush because you get three roaches as soon as your roach horn pops. And then you mass produce zerglings. And the speed's going to finish and your zerglings are going to rally over there ASAP. And that's why you go with just zerglings after that. And so check this out. Here's the overlord. And he gives the sight for the roaches to shoot up the ramp. And the sentries are blocking it off. Very standard from that Protoss player. And we'll see, the Overlord comes over here more so he can shoot at the Zealot. And this guy could have moved his Zealot back and just uh, used this. Had a few more hit points on his Zealot. But you'll see, it's not really going to matter right now. He doesn't have the capacity to build more units. And so right now, at the 5 minute and 40 second mark, this Zerg player is going to break through. And even if his Zerglings, let's pause that. Even if his Zerglings didn't get past those two sentries, with three Roaches in the back, you would have easily been able to fight through that. And get into that base and then you're gonna see he, uh, he's just gonna be able to kill this guy and there's liquid Travis uh, compla complaining a little what actually happened was he lost three consecutive times in a row to this guy and um, he's wondering how he can stop this so I'll just pause it from there or we can just play it out I don't care um, and he says maybe I could get cannons do I just go fast cannons this third player WZP actually says if they go cannons I just switch to Bane links and then I bust through that and by switching to Bane Links, it'll slow you down, but at the same time, the, um, the, Zerg, or the Protoss player won't have units. So as soon as you bust through those cannons, then you're good to go. So very, very strong build, guys. Built to beat Protoss. 
Um, kind of an annoying build, I'm sure, for the Protoss player, but I know a lot of Zergs out there that don't handle the Foregate well, and they hate the Colossus, so, you know, every race has its little bit of cheapness against the other races, I guess you could say. So, uh, three Road Trash right here, guys. Um, hope you like this build order, and there's some links below, I think I'll put them into uh, the Team Liquid forum post about this, where they talked about it, and uh, people talking about it. A lot of even Master Leagues players are using this build and just wrecking some Protoss players with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, check out the post below and check out the UN.com for more build orders and strategies and all that good stuff. Check you later.